MLB prize picks for Wednesday, October 16th. I'm Sniper from DFS Army. Going to take a look at the top three plays on the prize picks streak board. Tell you if I'm thinking under or over for all of them. Pick a best play. If you want more picks, track all the plays over at DFS Army. Yes, we're down a little bit the last three days, but the last month, last year, and all-time numbers are just insane. Link down below, Sniper20, gets you 20% off. It's under 30 bucks a month. Our best season NBA is coming. So make sure you go check out those as well as all the promo codes at that link in the description. Game three of the NLCS is what we're going to be focusing on. One more time, hit that like button. I'll hit the intro. We'll get to work. All right, first thing we have to look at is game two's grand slam hitter, Mark Vientos, more than, or not more, I'm assuming, but we'll see. One and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. And actually, is a pretty big assumption here. You know, Dodgers had a bullpen game, really, in game two. They get Walker Bueller here in game three. Head over to the prize picks tool, and let's see what we can find uh, odds-wise for Mark Vientos. Is towards the top here, and the odds actually lean towards the under. Under one and a half hits, runs, and RBI is at minus 128. So your odds values on the um, under, however... Vientos has been over in four of the last five games, six of the last ten. So the odds say under. The recent form says over. Didn't have this queued up before, but now let's look at the uh, BVP matchup against Walker Bueller. There is none. His first time facing him. It is a righty, righty matchup. So Vientos is hitting well. Odds say under. Against Walker Buehler, you know, the difficulty of the pitcher actually makes me want to lean towards the under here, but I don't think I'm, I would qualify this as one of more confident plays. I would say under, but it's like unlikely it's going to be uh, the top play that we lock in. All right, let's move on. Let's talk Mookie Betts and his one and a half hits runs and RBI number. Let's see if we, if we can find it here on our prize picks tool, which is part of that DFS Army package, by the way. And we can. Minus 120. It's pretty much a straight up 50-50 odds here. Vegas slightly lean towards the over. He's been over three of the last five. Only four of his last ten. But last five postseason games has been over um, three of those last five. Including game one against the uh, Mets. See if we have any BVP matchup for Mookie Betts. I'm like we did for didn't have any for Vientos against Severino, though. We got plenty. He is 11 for 34 all time. Four doubles, a home run, hitting 324 against Severino. Righty righty matchup. Be damned. So Vegas lean towards the uh over. Form leans slightly towards the over as does the BVP. I'm going to pick along with all of those trends. I would lean towards the Mookie Betts more than one and a half hits, runs, and RPIs. And I would say I like to play more than the Vientos under, which was sketchy for the reasons that we talked about. All right, last one to look at. Let's look at Shohei Otani, nine and a half on the hitter fantasy score. Now, obviously, sports books don't put up this number. Let's see what props we do have for Shohei Otani. We can come in here. Search for Shohei, and it looks like Prize Picks doesn't have any straight props up for Shohei. Um, as you'd expect, the number's probably a little bit elevated. I'm just pulling up DraftKings Sportsbooks on, our, on a different monitor here, and now we've dragged it over. Let's go see if we can find manually looking up Shohei Otani. Give me one second to get there. 808. Eastern start time tonight for Dodgers and Mets in game three. And let's just search for the good old control for Shohei. He's plus 250 to hit a home run. Got some of these combo home run props. So I'm going to skate by here. Minus 250 to get a hit. Doesn't really help us with a nine and a half number for the hitch runs in RBI. Where is the hits run total bases numbers? There's Shohei. All right, so here we go. Hits, runs, and RBI is the closest thing we can get to it. Two and a half is at minus 160 here. 
you're really going to have to get at least three. I guess he could get the stolen base is really what's going to impact. And you know Shohei is a stolen base threat. That's what really impacts this hitter fantasy score here in terms of why he doesn't line up directly with that hitch runs and RBI uh, prop. I think it probably is going to help us here. Let's also, let's go look at the Shohei Otani recent log uh, on MLB.com. One more ta tab to drag over. In the postseason so far, only hitting 222, has not stolen a base yet in the postseason. One home run has not been fantastic so far in the postseason. Mm -hmm. If we pull up his BVP against Severino, though, um, yeah, he hit Severino well. Got the lefty righty matchup. Three for six, one double, one home run. I feel like he's due to steal a base. Don't think the Dodgers are going to be held down in this game. Uh, well, we don't have direct odds to line up with it, and the two and a half numbers juice towards the under because of the stolen base in the history. I would lean towards the more on Sho Shohei Otani uh, for the hitter fantasy score. Could also just be the pessimistic Mets fan in me, quite honestly. I'm happy we took one game in the series, and now we'll just take it step by step from here. So let's do, it. let's do a recap. Pick our favorite plays of the three prize pick plays on the streak board. Real quick, if you didn't already, hit that like button. Share with your friends. Check the link down below for some of those promo codes and discounts. Third place play, least confident. Bronze medal, Mark Vientos. I would go less than one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. Play number two, silver medal. I would go Shohei Otani. More than nine and a half on the hitter fantasy score. And gold medal play, the official pick of today's video. We're going to go Mookie Betts. More than one and a half hitch runs and RBIs. He's got great form, good BVP matchup. Odds slightly lean this way. This is going to be the official pick. One more time, smash that like button. And here's that daily reminder that whether or not you are a DFS Army member, make sure I officially click submit here. No, looks like looks like we already went in here. Odd. That daily reminder is whether or not you are a DFS Army member, you probably should be. But either way, good luck in those contests. Let's cash this ticket, and I'll see you next time.